Well, even though Arizona's three major universities switched to online-only classes more than a month ago, some students are still living on campus. They're social distancing just like we all are, but in a really bizarre situation. There are just a handful of students in what should be a community of crowded dorms. Team 12's William Pitts has our story. Remember the kids that stayed in the dorms on campus through winter break and the holidays? It's kind of like that, but every day for weeks. So it's almost like a ghost town. It's really empty, which is crazy. No one's studying, empty dorm rooms. The weekly calendar, empty, nothing planned. Just day after day of silence and loneliness. I don't think I've, I've seen maybe one person probably walking around the dorms, it's crazy. <laughs> ASU's dorms are still open for just a few students who haven't left yet, taking classes online but living on campus where the dining hall is open but for takeout only. There's probably like five of us left on my, just on my floor. The campus stores have empty shelves just like grocery stores. Students like Susan exactly. Wong could have left but she lives in San Francisco. It might have been worse. San Francisco is going on lockdown so I was like, well, it might be safer to stay here anyways. Katie Wiscavage is still there because her room's already paid for trying to use, get my money's worth, basically, of my dorm. The cost of college room and board has been a sticky subject. Initially, ASU and Northern Arizona University weren't giving refunds. I mean, I didn't even think it was really a question because they made it kind of clear, like, they said, oh, don't come back, so we all assumed, okay, we'll get a refund. Peyton Romney goes to NAU you know, and had to move out. Okay, he started a petition to get some of that money back. With all of our petitions and everything, they finally said, okay, we'll give you 25% back. Eventually, all three universities came up with a plan to give students a break. Mostly, it's in the form of credit, a discount for next year, not straight cash. <laughs> Meanwhile, the dorms are all but empty. The students still living there, just waiting it out until the year is over. And I've kind of gotten used to it. It's, it's bad, but, like, it, it's quiet, but it's also, like, really peaceful. So, like, it's like I can take a shower at 3 a.m. I can play music really loud. Those credits were contingent on a few things, for instance, moving out of the dorms by yesterday. But at least one family is suing the Arizona Board of Regents to get money back. In Phoenix, William Pitts, 12 News.